Hello, I am Pankush Kargotra. I will talk about inter-organization enterprise resource planning systems. In this paper, first of all, I will explain the definition of ERP. Then, I will describe ERP architecture both inter-organization and inter-organization, various security issues with that. And finally, I will propose an architecture, an inter-organization ERP architecture and various security controls and at last I will conclude with the discussion and future work. My objective in this modern world of the business ERP has become a need for every com company in one or the other way. ERP has not only been set up intern internally in an organization but also installed on the internet to increase the integration. Many organizations work together on several projects that demand for an inter-organization ERP system. So in this paper, I have proposed an architecture, inter-organization ERP architecture, and then explain various security issues and finally various security controls. For the next couple of slides, I will present some of the definitions given by different authors. She and Thurai Singham defined ERP system as an integrated, configurable and customizable information system which plans and manages all the resources in the enterprise, streamlines and incorporates the business processes within and across the functional or technical departments in the organization. Devanport, a known personality in ERP field, he defined ERP systems consists of different modules which represent different functional areas and they offer integration across the entire business including human resources, HR, accounting, manufacturing, materials management, sales and distribution and all other areas which are required in different branches. Nah and Delgado says ERP supports a process-oriented view of the enterprise and provides standardized business processes and real-time financial and production information for the management. Different authors have described the architecture of an ERP system in different ways. A common architecture of ERP system in an organization is presented in this figure. There are three tiers of ERP systems presentation tier business logic tier and database tier presentation tier the presentation tier is what a user sees in front of him or her it is in the form of graphical user interface that is used to collect information create reports and finally reply back users with the results Middle layer is business logic tier. To perform any action with the ERP system, a program is required that can process the activity or the function. These programs are in the application layer of the ERP system that takes input from the presentation layer and process it as per required and finally send back results to the presentation layer. These programs are created based on the various requirements of the businesses. The third layer is database tier. It is the backend layer that contains the data repository. It has all the organizational data that is needed by the company for daily processing. Database management system DBMS manages the whole enterprise data which is used for generating reports and making organizational decisions. Operating system may also be included in this layer. The next generation of ERP systems known as ERP2 introduced the concept of inter-organization enterprise system. This term is coined by Gartner Group. ERP system has not been restricted 
only for internal use of any organization now but it has started utilizing internet also this has increased the supply chain management and customer relationship management capabilities using internet customers are reached directly without any intermediate ERP systems also provide back-end support to the electronic business commonly known as e-business and by the introduction of e-business companies have improved their performance by strengthening their relationships with the customer this improves the integration of the business processes and thus improves the process of sales directly from the wholesalers by removing the intermediates such as retailers electronic data interchange edi this strengthens the connection between suppliers and retailers use of edi has made possible for for different businesses to do various projects in collaboration one of the common platforms present today to use the third party applications with the erp software is NetWeaver. It is very successful technique developed by SAP through which even more integration can be achieved by associating the other applications with the ERP. But the real question here is that can any platform integrate the two ERPs of different organizations? In this article we have proposed a technique that can help different ERPs of various companies to interact with each other. Now I will explain various security issues with the ERP. The use of common ERP system by different kinds of users causes the security concerns. The security problems have increased by the introduction of e-business because now the system is on open network. So ERP system has become susceptible to various security problems. Inter-organization ERP system is even more susceptible to these security problems because it involves users outside the company. New technical approaches are required that can solve all these problems. We have explained security issues in three layers. Network layer, presentation layer and application layer. Network layer. Customer interacts with the organization directly through the company's website. But in reality, a customer is interacting with the ERP system. Customers directly access the information of the company through internet. Here, two entities are interacting on network and thus we term these security problems as network layer security problems. Next presentation layer user interacts with company through user interface and he needs to provide his or her information to log into the account and then perform various activities there may be security problems with the presentation layer like limiting the access of users at a strong the application layer this is the most vulnerable layer in the ERP system because it has programs written in it. Now, every organization needs a secured and efficient system and thus it becomes a very critical security concern. Here is the proposed inter-organization architecture. Suppose two different companies want to share their one module only, for example, supply chain management for some reasons for their project or whatever so it would not be a good op option to share each other's ERP but the good solution can be a platform that contains the common database these databases contain common repositories that can be used by both companies this can keep the confidential information private from the other organization and thus keep the whole system secure. In this figure we can see that how SEM module can be shared between two ERP systems of two companies. There is a common database which is set outside the two companies and shared by each other. Now it is the resp responsibility 
of the security system to authenticate legal users to access the common database to ensure security. To control the security issues defined previously, we have adopted various security control measures from IBM Global Services. We have categorized them into four categories manual, hybrid, IT, and automated. Manual controls. These are the security controls that do not require any software or any application for authentication purpose or for verifying the working of the system. All the activities are handled manually. These are time taking methods and have greater possibilities of errors. These controls can be effective in some cases but not in all kinds of systems. Next is automated controls. These are controls that require software for ensuring securities and the applications are responsible for maintaining the securities within the system. Thus, it is the job of the software developer to make a secure system and which is not easily vulnerable to the outside attackers. Now if the algorithm for the security is robust, there is a less chance of error and it is not easy for attackers to intrude in the system. Next is hybrid. These are the security controls that include both manual and automated activities. Some of the verifications are done manually and some are authentications are ensured by the automated system. These kinds of controls provide even more security as it involves both human as well as, soft, as, well as software. Next is IT controls. These are the controls on which automated systems are dependent. The automated system work according to the settings provided by the IT systems. These controls act as a gatekeeper to the whole system and responsible for authenticating different users within the system or outside the system. Now, discussion and future work. It is proposed in this paper that these security controls should be applied in inter-organization enterprise system implementation. In inter-organization architecture proposed, database is kept outside the participating companies and it is the responsibility of security department to authenticate the user or to maintain the security to access this confidential data. Now, limited access can be also be provided as per the requirements to keep the whole system secure. Now, in this paper, we explained three-tier ERP architecture in the company and then proposed an inter-organization ERP architecture. Then, various types of security issues are presented and several techniques to control security problems are also adopted. There are few limitations with this proposal like it is not easy to implement this kind of architecture in real time as it requires a robust framework. Now, future work will include implementation of proposed inter-organization architecture and find out whether it, it, it is doing a good job or not. Thank you.